morning quirky birders, it's Lynn here and welcome to episode two of your daily art challenge. Now all this week we're going to be playing around with um, rusty pickup trucks um, and we're just going to have some fun with personalising them and just um, creating some really fun, cute and quirky designs. So yesterday we painted a, um, in episode one, we painted a um, side view of a pickup truck um, and this was the pickup truck here. Um, and I also suggested that you could personalise that little truck um, and I have just popped a little sheep um, in um, my little truck. So he's just sat there in the in the back of the truck. Um, but you could have done anything. You could have add, added flowers. It could have been love hearts of Valentine's. It could have been anything that you um, that you added into your truck. But um, but yeah, I hope you had fun yesterday. So today we're doing a different design. Today we are doing a back of a truck. Um, now, the line drawing for this is also available on um, my Facebook page, so you can actually get a copy of this um, from there for you to copy or trace. Um, and we're just going to be painting um, this little truck um, today. Now, we're going to be popping things into the back of the truck as well. So I'm going to be using the bed of the truck um, to um, pop in some flowers and, and bits and pieces. Um, but before we do that, what we will do is we will just get the underpainting done um, and in place. So without further ado, let's make a start. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit of underpainting on the tyres of our truck. Uh, now I'm just going to use a little bit of brown and it's just a very, very light brown because like I say, this is just the underpainting. So I'm just going to paint the tyre. And you can push that paint down towards the bottom of that tyre because that's where it's going to be nice and shady. And we'll just do the other one. Now paintbrush wise today, I'm just using a size five. that down into there. There we go. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the colour grey. So I don't know whether you're the same as me and you always seem to have a little bit of grey still lingering on your palette so I'm just going to get that going again ever so slightly. And I'm going to use the grey just along the bumper here. I'm not going to paint all of the bumper in a solid colour. We're just going to do just little um, little lines. So I'm just allow then the white of the paper to provide us with a couple of little highlights. So now while we're still working with the grey, we can just put a little bit of underpainting just on the, the mirrors. And we can also just use the grey just to give us a little bit of um, shading to the sides of the truck.
and just spend a few moments getting a really nice even finish to that. So I'm just going to just dry my brush off and just lift away that pooling paint that's there. And then the last little thing that we need to do with the grey is we'll just pop in this mirror here. Okay, now our little truck needs some rear lights, um, so we can just pop those rear lights in next. I've got my pencil. What I'm also going to do is just do a nice oval shape for the lights. And the trick is to get them so they match. use a little bit of red for our rear lights and we'll just paint those and also just leave some areas again of the white just to give us one or two little highlights just about even. Oops, I've just smudged my tyre. If that was to happen, just get a clean brush and a little bit of water and just wet the smudge that you've just created with the water. And then you just need a little bit of, of uh, kitchen paper or tissue paper. And I'll just lift that away. There we go. So the secret is don't panic. Um, if you were to just create a little smudge like I've just done, um, you can quite easily just rectify that quite simply. But like I say, just don't panic. I'm just going to touch that up again now. Okay. So now we need to decide um, what colour our little truck is going to be. Um, and I think for this, um, I'm going to go with a nice purple. So I'm going to do a little bit of a quirky truck. Now I don't want it too vivid a purple, so I will just um, mix that ever so slightly, just so it's a little bit lighter. I just want a nice lavendery purple. Now I've got quite a nice bold purple in my um, paint palette. So all I'm going to do, just to reduce that ever so slightly, is just add a little bit of white to that. Okay. And once we've got the colour that you're happy with, we can then start to paint our little truck. So I'm 
I'm just going to paint all of the bodywork in this lovely sort of lavender purple. Now I am working around these lights, so I do just need to be careful of that red. And I just need to make sure that I leave a little gap so the red and the purple doesn't mix. So just take your time. And again, just like we did with our little first truck, if you're wanting to have some different areas of, of sort of shading of colour, you can use the white of the paper to give you one or two little highlights. And where the paint pools, just let it pool because then that's just going to add to the texture of the bodywork of your little truck. do the same on this side that paint down towards the bumper truck. Now on this section here that I'm just doing, I don't want the paint to be too heavy because we will be over painting with the contents of our little truck today. So I just want it to be, the colour to be there, but I just want it to be fairly light. I don't want it to be too heavy at all. So I'm not going to add any more paint. All I'm doing is just wetting my brush and just using the wet of the wet brush just to move that paint around a little bit um, because like I say I just want it to be a fairly light wash I don't want it to be too heavy at all can just do around the windscreen the rear windscreen of the truck and that can be a little bit more heavier now
Now this is just the underpainting at this stage. We will be actually going back over the bodywork of our little truck. So it's just about getting a nice coverage on the paper. And then the last little colour that I'm going to, to do is I'm just going to add in a little bit of um, a pale brown. just want a nice pale brown for the bed of the truck. And the similar process applies. So just as we've done it with the, um, with the purple in the back of the truck, again, this is just going to be an area that we're going to be overpainting. So it does need to be quite light in coverage. to avoid reloading my brush and I'm just going to move that paint around with the wet brush just to get that nice base cover. And the last little bit, we can just use a little bit of the grey again and we'll just come down those sides. Like so. Okay. So that's the underpainting finished. We just need to let that dry just a little while um, and then we'll come back to it in just a moment um, and we will deal with the contents of our little pickup truck. Okay, so I'm back. Um, the underpainting is now dry. So what we can now do is we can start to put in a little bit of detail into the truck itself. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put um, some lovely flowers into my truck. And uh, I'm just going to start by putting in some focal flowers and we'll do some little roses to begin with. So very, very simply, we're just going to do some little curly petals and we're just going to build them up into nice bigger roses. And again, we'll need to go back over these just to intensify the colour. So we're just going to pop these all around our little truck. just going to arrange my flowers just up this one side of the truck. So I started with my roses. We can put some little buds in there. So let's just do some little, little bud shapes. Very, very easy. And let's just bring a bud out to the front here. There we go. So we've got our main focal flowers into position. 
So the next thing that we need to do is we need to um, add in some leaves just to put the structure into position and just to create those lovely sort of linear lines. So let's just pop in a couple of very, very simple little oval shaped leaves on the buds of the roses. We can add in a more linear type leaf up the back there. can put some sort of lavender type flowers in there so we can pop those in for a little bit of height so little triangles and just wriggle and scribble that paint down towards you or away from you whichever way you're going to be painting your little flowers Can add some little tulips. Uh, what colour? Let's go with a nice orange for some tulips. So very, very simple, just little rugby ball shapes for the tulips. Three of those, I think. We'll use a little bit of the blue and just do some little cornflower type flowers around, just some little dots. Keeping it very, very simple. I'll put some more little blue ones just down here. And they will intensify when um, we add the ink details as well. So you'll be able to put some more details through your painting using the ink details. And you'll be able to add in more leaves and things as well because you, that, that will create a little bit more movement. So I'll just pop in a couple of more little lines around. Leaves. I'll do some in the middle here, just being careful of the roses. I'm just going to let that dry for a couple of moments just so we can do a little bit more overpainting on those focal flowers just to improve um, the pigment of colour. And whilst that's just drying, we'll continue to work on our little truck. So I'm going to come back to the wheels where we started with the underpainting. And all I'm going to do with the wheels is just using the colour brown. We'll paint in the side of the wheel on both sides. And then let's just do some little lines down the wheels. 
just to create those tires. There we go. So we've got a little bit more colour now on our tyres. And we can add a little bit more colour to our little pickup truck itself. So going back to that purple, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to overpaint all of the area. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just add in some um, bolder colours just in certain areas on the little truck. Um, so I'm going to concentrate around the base of the um of the wheel arch and we'll concentrate as well just identifying that little line between the bodywork and the bed of the truck there we go We'll bring that darker colour just underneath the bumper and we'll do the same on the other side as well. There we go. Again, we'll just bring just a little bit of the darker colour around, just being careful of those little flowers that we've just painted as well. But we will just intensify them ever so slightly in just a moment. There we go. Push that down a little bit. We'll intensify the back of the truck. So we can just do this little bit along here. I'm going to keep the rear wall of the bed of the pickup truck that paler colour, but we will just intensify the colour on the cab. over the top like so And then just that side of the truck we can make a little bit darker as well so where we've got the little grey side let's just make that just a little bit darker I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice even finish on that so I'm just going to just lift away just those little bits of pooling paint there we go and 
Okay, so we can just intensify while we're working with the colour grey. We can just intensify those mirrors and add a little bit more colour to those mirrors. There we go. And then using the grey, we can just do a little bit of a scribble through the windscreen like so. Okay. So we'll go back to our little roses now. And what we'll do is we'll just intensify them ever so slightly. So I'm just going to drop a little bit more colour into our roses. We'll come around. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of a darker green. just change the brush we'll go to a smaller brush um, so let's go down to a size one brush with a darker green and we'll just put in a little bit more detail into those leaves few more of the green little lines just to create those leaves and a little bit of movement and not forgetting that the stems will come from when we pop in the ink details anyway okay so we'll just turn our attention back to the wheels and with that smaller brush and we're just going to pop a little bit of the shading just at the base of the wheels and we'll do that on both sides okay and then lastly we can just use, still use the brown and the smaller brush and we're just going to just outline the bed of the truck. So we've just got a little bit of shadowing along the bed of the truck. And you can be careful, you can take it up into the, into where you've painted the flowers just so you've got the appearance of the wooden planks. It is quite easy to do. Okay, so last little bit and it just involves the colour grey as usual. So we're just going to use that colour grey just to pop in a little bit of shading um, and line work around our little truck. And what we'll do to begin with is we'll just add in the grey around the windshield on the van, on the truck. So we can do the two sides. And we'll come along the little top and then let's just bring that in at the bottom like so. We need to put our mirrors on some arms so I'm going to use the grey and just pop in a couple of little lines for the mirrors. And we'll add in the lines on the back of the truck come 
Dann haben wir O. I'm happy with the bumper. So I'm not going to add any more details to the bumper. gray around those lights and also take it through the base of the truck as well and then lastly we can just outline the number plate Okay, so our truck now just needs to dry. So we just need to give that a few moments to dry and uh, I'll be back in just a little while to add in all of the ink details. Okay, so after a few moments, um, our little pickup truck is now dry um, and we can just make a start with the ink details. Now, the flowers will um, certainly improve and become bolder with the added addition of the ink pen. So we'll start with the flowers themselves. So things like the little tulips, really, really simple and easy to outline. We'll just split them in two and then pop them on a stem. We can come around the leaves The little bud roses, again, very, very simple. Start with a little spiral and then pop the little cup on the end and then add in the stem. Again, add the leaves. Now the pen I'm using is actually a 0.4 um, today. So I'm just using that 0.4 pen. So a little bit thicker, um, but that's because we just want um, some nice boldness on these little flowers. The little corn flowers, we can just stipple around the blue that we've dotted around. We can pop a couple of little lines at the bottom and then add in the stem. Little rosebud there. So again, we'll just stipple around these. And pop them on a stem. The lavender will just scribble 
through the purple heads of those flowers. with a little rosebud there so we'll do a little spiral and then add in the cup back to those flowers in just a moment because this little one here is a little bit wet this other tulip my pen's decided to stop working and the um the roses are still a little bit damp so we'll come back to them in just a moment we'll just finish off these last few leaves okay and we'll come back to the roses in just a moment so what we can now do is we can come around the outline of our little truck so we'll come along by the bumper. I'm going to just change my pen to a thicker pen. Just bear with me just one second. We'll go back up to a size five. I've got a nice bold edge. Now you can do multiple lines. They often look quite effective um, when you're doing your ink outlines. We'll do a mixture of both, I think, on this one. So we'll come around the wheat, the lights and the number plate and the bumper we'll just break that bumper up where the leaves have come over the top other side side of the truck and let's just put those lines in for the cab
to the window. mirror and we'll just put that on a little, little line and then And then you can just change your pen to either a 0.1 or a 0.2 and what we'll do with that is we're just going to literally just scribble through that glass and we can do the same on the back of the mirror Now you can use the finer pen to do a second line if you so wish, just to add the sort of more sort of sketchy outline to your little truck. It often looks quite quirky if you then add in a second line. around those flowers come around that wheel and you just need to add in some little little lines little cross hatch lines along those tires. Same on this one. And concentrate some a little bit thicker than others and longer. Just so you get that little sketchy line. We'll come around the bumper. Also the number plate. And over the top. change our pen now and go back to that size five and what we'll do just check these are dry we should get away with it we'll just quickly just pop in our little roses the outside edge of that little tulip. And then just to finish off, 
um, we can actually write the word spring. So let's write the word spring in our number plate. And then we'll just sign it. Okay, and there you have it. One, um, a different design using the um, pickup truck theme, but quite a nice design and quite a nice design to do for spring um, and would make a great greetings card. But again, you can play around with how ever you want to finish your pickup truck with the bed of that truck. Um, you can put all sorts of different bits and pieces in and I can't wait to see um, just how creative you will be with this design. Do have fun with your painting. I'll be back again.